annual toy fair is taking place in New York this week, putting the investor spotlight on the kids' space. Well, joining us to discuss these latest trends and acquisitions, plus the future outlook in children's toys, is Ellie Deckel. He's the president of Saban Brands. Thank you so much, Ellie, for joining Thank us. You. This Thank is all you. part of the private equity group Saban Capital. Saban Capital. Saban right, Saban, Saban excuse Correct. me, so just, to, uh, just to make sure our viewers know about this. Um, okay, so you've bought up recently some children's brands, right? Paul yes. Frank and also the Power Rangers, which Correct. we have right behind you. Uh, what do you plan on doing with these brands? Well, our thesis behind Saban Brands was to find brands that have proven themselves over time, have a long-standing consumer passion, and have the ability to be much more than what they've been recently. Mm -hmm. And we saw that opportunity with Power Rangers, a, a brand that Heim Saban actually created in the early 90s. Right, and then and, you, and Disney had bought them, right? And then you bought them back. We bought it okay. back uh, uh, just shy of a year ago. Okay. We went straight into production on new episodes. We did a new deal with Nickelodeon. We signed up Bandai and Namco for toys and video games. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just relaunched the show last week on Nickelodeon in a brand new iteration. Oh, okay. So, well, my kids will be excited. <laughs> okay, but what? But what is it that you want? To, what do you want to achieve that Disney didn't achieve with, with Power Rangers? Then? Well, the idea that a brand can be more than what it is, to embrace it fully from the standpoint of content, digital media, interactivity, merchandising, promotion, and okay. consumer engagement. Okay. This is core to how we look at building and growing brands. So then let's focus on the online part of it, because yes. more and more kids obviously get their content online rather than through their television set. What do you plan on doing with this Power Brands? I mean, Power Rangers brand then. Yes. I mean, are we talking about perhaps some deals with Netflix, with Hulu, to, to get those that content onto the online media? Well, there's, there's certainly a content distribution opportunity, but there's also a, a, an entirely new way to engage with young consumers, and that's through digital tools, through social networks, even at young ages, okay. um, as well as through the, the traditional toys and plastic merchandise that uh, kids have always been accustomed to playing with. So okay. we see an integration of that across the board, and, and many Managing it holistically enables us to really engage with the fan and make it part of their lifestyle across many different platforms. So in the case of Power Rangers, not only do we have a website, well for the older fans who are now in their teens and 20s, we have a Facebook page. Mm -hmm. We have uh, uh, not just Twitter and other things of that nature, but also ways of reaching to parents and engaging in the family aspect of right. children's viewing. So there is now many more tools to reach our fans through the content, but also through the engagement with the brand. Okay. Um, you started Saban, uh, this fund, with $500 million, right? Is that correct? A at least, At yes. least, okay. So having bought these two brands that mm -hmm. I just talked about, um, and I know you've made other acquisitions, but how much left do you have for acquisitions now? Um, we, we have a considerable war chest. Uh, fortunately, Saban Capital has uh, done very well over the past several years in numerous major media acquisitions. Mm -hmm. And so we look at this opportunity with Saban Brands as one that is truly limitless. And so we look at opportunities that, of course, uh, have that opportunity to be more than what they are. Right. And, uh, and in but, terms but what of would they be? What, what's out there that you would like to buy that you haven't yet? Oh, there are many things, but if I if I spoke to it directly, <laughs> right. then it, it... Well, what would fit in your portfolio right. now? So br brands that are complementary, that have already been proven in the market, that have the ability to be extended through media content and interactivity, of which there are numerous brands. They come from media, they come from publishing, they come from fashion sometimes. Um, and so we're looking across a very broad sector, a, 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 Across what's mostly consumer but passion points. Established brands or new or established brands. Okay, brands so you're that looking have for proven themselves over time. Okay, um, and I'll bring one up for you. And I know okay. you, you know you tell me you can't talk about it, but it's Thomas the Tank Engine is one yes. brand. I know HIT is talking about um, uh, uh, selling it, and I know you have been bidding for it, or at least reportedly bidding for well, it, along with um, Michael it, it, those Eisner. Are, those are rumors. Okay, are you interested in it? It's a brand that fits our criteria. Whether or not we're actually engaged in it depends on the circumstance and the opportunity and the timing. Right. Um, so that's as much as I can say. Are you wary of getting in a bidding war with Michael Eisner? I don't, you know, we never like bidding wars. So uh, <laughs> regardless of who it's with, right. um, we look at uh, brands where we can add a value that is different from what others who may be adding and looking at those brands are. Got it. So our, our, our metrics and our philosophy and our strategy is a bit different. Right. So we don't really consider it a, a, a bidding war situation. Ellie, thank you. Thank Appreciate you very it. much, Betty. Ellie Deckel uh, from Saban Capital. And